Well, Lauren Real fan is Eric Realist, and I'm back. It's been a while, but I'm back. Um, I'm not really even sure what I want to talk about. I'm so rusty at doing videos because I don't have the time. I don't have the time anymore, and I'm mostly on TikTok now because I don't have the time. But I'm going to try to do a little something. Even though I'm tired, I have work tomorrow, but I have a little bit of time with this video. Parents, your kids know that you're leaving them, that you're sacrificing being with them to go to work. They know that the young ones will drop them off at daycare. They're young, they still know, they feel it. They feel it every day. These kids feel abandoned by their parents because obviously they have to go to work. Now, I never agreed with a parent leaving their child at daycare for many hours of the day just because they have to work. I never agreed with that, which is why I didn't do it with mine. Now, even if that made me financially behind, I didn't do it, and I see the repercussions of not doing it. However, I know people have lies. I know that we have a lot of bills we have to pay for and a lot of obligations in life. But y'all, pay attention to your kids. When you drop your child off at daycare, they think you're abandoning them. No matter how many times you say you're gonna come back, no matter how many times you, come, you do come back and you tell them, you keep talking to them every day. You keep trying to reiterate them and reassure them that you're coming back and you still love them, you still care about them, and that you have to go to work and all that other jazz. The young kids don't know that. They don't understand shit about what you're saying. They don't know why you have to go to work. They don't know why they have to get why you have to get money. They don't know why it's so important. They don't understand why work is more important than them. Than you being home with them and teaching them. I'm not saying every parent has to homeschool. I can't really say that every parent wants to homeschool or can homeschool. That's up to you. But I believe that parents who consistently drop their young babies at daycare and they're in daycare like their whole lives, like there's never any transition when they're home, especially when they're really young, like one years old and up, one year old and under, stuff like that, two, three, four, your child's really young. They're gonna feel like you abandoned them, and sometimes that shows in their behavior. Which sucks for us daycare workers, because we have to deal with the behaviors, the repercussions of you leaving your child at daycare for hours and hours and hours, and your child feels abandoned, they're hurt. They're hurt by you leaving them, so guess what? They're gonna act up, and they act up on the daycare teachers. And we have to go around calling their name 10 times a day. No, not 10, 100. And I just really, really hate that that's how the world is. I really don't like that a lot of parents don't realize the trauma that you're putting on your children. This is trauma for a young child to be put in daycare from babyhood all the way up until age three or four. You hardly ever see them. That's traumatic, don't you think? Your parents probably did it to you. You probably don't even realize that you were, tra that you were traumatized from it. I mean, people think, take things differently. Maybe you weren't as traumatized as probably the next kid. But either way, your child feels traumatized because you're not spending time with them. That's just what it is. I just want parents to think about that. And spend a little less time away from daycare. Spend more time with your child away from daycare. And don't leave them there for like six, eight hours a day. That's too long. Of course they're gonna feel abandoned. I don't blame them. So.
so yeah that's just a little food for thought i really want you guys to think about that if you're a parent and you have a young child who's in daycare for a majority of the day because some of these parents be dropping kids off at crack of dawn six seven o'clock in the morning they gotta drop them off because they gotta rush off to work and they don't pick them up till damn near five six in the evening of course your child's gonna act up of course they're gonna do a bunch of things of course they're gonna be acting out of course they're gonna be peeing on themselves of course they're gonna be pooping on themselves of course they're gonna be saying i want mommy i want daddy every 10 minutes of course they're gonna have tantrums of course they're not gonna eat sometimes they're gonna do things that you're that you don't understand that's just what it is Watch your child's behavior and pay attention. Don't forsake them. They're watching. They're young, but they know, and they're watching. They're gonna keep feeling abandoned and that is gonna stay in their hearts for a long time. You don't want that. Even when they go to school, they're always gonna feel that way and then you're not gonna know what's wrong when they become a teenager. And all of a sudden, they don't wanna deal with your ass no more. Just watch it. Food for thought. Peace out. Yeah.